Hey guys, Antelog here, and this is the Booster Board. The Booster Board is an electric longboard that's really fun and practical at the same time. So let's take a look. The deck of the board is made of a flexible bamboo, and it kind of acts like suspension to keep the ride smooth while you're riding on rough surfaces. Under the deck, you'll find soft orange wheels, and this specific board that I have here is the single drive version, the most basic model. This specific model only has one driven wheel, and that poses some problems later that we'll cover, but if you want to spend an extra $300, you can buy the middle tier board that has a dual wheel drive. You ride the boosted board just like a regular skateboard or a longboard. The only difference is that it's powered. To control the board, you use this remote. To move the board, you press the trigger down to engage the motor and move the wheel up or down to move the board forward or backwards. You can also hold the gray button to turn the remote on and off, tap it three times to change the mode, and tap it once to check the battery life. The remote is connected to the board as soon as you turn the board and the remote on, and it's totally wireless. But since it's wireless, you will have to charge it using the mini USB cable. The remote also comes with a wrist strap so that you don't accidentally drop it on the road. Anyways, the board weighs 13 pounds, which is a burden to carry around at times, but is still light compared to other competitors like the Z-Board, coming in at almost 30. The range of this specific board is about 8 miles, and I found that to be true for the most part. I could easily get from my house to school and back, and still have half battery left to spare. And for reference, I live in a hilly area, and my school is about 1.5 miles away from me. So the range is definitely there, and I can see it being used for some short distance travel. The board is also comfortable to ride on, and it's not super bumpy. I was impressed of how well it can climb hills, and I was able to climb hills that I'd say were about 30 degrees while going on full throttle. The boosted board is really fast. This model goes up to 18 miles an hour, but the highest end model goes up to 22. It doesn't sound fast on paper, but when you get on, it really is. When you first get on, it's a super weird experience because instead of pushing the board, the board pushes you. It also accelerates super quickly, which will knock you off the board if you're not careful. But the boosted board also has three different modes to accommodate for different users. There's a beginner mode that tops out about, I'd say, 10 miles an hour and accelerates slowly, a medium mode that goes about 15 miles an hour, and an expert mode that goes at full speed and accelerates very fast. The boosted board is also super easy to ride and learn. I was able to get on the board and start riding fluently within 30 minutes. It really doesn't feel that different from riding a skateboard or a snowboard, and after you get the hang of it, it's super fun to ride. Like, really fun. I could sit here and describe how the wind was blowing through my hair while I was rushing past all the houses and everything, but I'll just tell you that it's a blast to ride. However, one problem I found with the boosted board is that since my model only has one wheel drive, if you're trying to go uphill while leaning to the left, the right wheel won't have enough traction to go up the hill because it's not touching the ground. This will only be a problem with the single drive version, which is why I recommend the dual drive version if you're going to get a boosted board. But other than that, there really are no downsides to the boosted board. Another cool piece of tech that's implemented in the board is regenerative braking. It basically allows you to regenerate some battery life by braking, and that's really cool. I'm not sure how much it regenerates or even if it makes a difference at all, but hey, it just makes the board that much more awesome. In conclusion, the boosted board is pretty much the best device I've ever gotten to review. It's fun to ride, practical for travel, and just plain awesome with so much technology in it. And if you want to go try it out, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can try it out for free for about 5 days. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.